How to troubleshoot a bidet seat that won't spray. Is your bidet giving you trouble? Perhaps it's not functioning after some time of use, or you just bought your bidet and it doesn't seem to work properly. Regardless of the situation, the following video will set you on the right path to getting your bidet troubles resolved. This guide will help you troubleshoot an electronic bidet seat that won't spray, has an intermittently working remote control, or simply does not function anymore. Before starting your troubleshooting, you will want to have a few things handy. Paper towels or a few sheets of toilet paper, a small cup or bowl to block the water stream, replacement batteries for your remote control. Step 1. Unplug the bidet seat for 30 seconds and then re-plug. The first thing we want to start with is a hard reset. Unplugging the bidet seat for about 30 seconds and then replugging will restart the unit, including the internal mechanisms. Similar to a computer, a simple reset will sometimes solve small issues with bidet seats where components may have become out of sync over time. If a hard reset solves your issue, great! If not, then proceed to step 2. If your bidet appears to be off and the seat's normal power indicator lights are not on despite being plugged in, you'll want to make sure that the GFCI outlet or the electrical circuit is not tripped. Test the outlet using a phone charger or a lamp to make sure the outlet is getting power. If you've confirmed that the outlet is working, but the bidet seat won't power on, you'll want to contact the manufacturer for further assistance. If the outlet is not working, you'll need to reset the outlet or circuit before you continue troubleshooting. Step 2. Trigger the bidet's occupied seat sensor. All bidet seats have some sort of occupied seat sensor. This prevents the seat from spraying while no one is seated. To make testing easier, we're going to trick the seat sensor into thinking someone is seated. Most bidet seats on the market use a skin sensor in the 4 to 5 o'clock area of the seat. Some models have a sensor in a different area, and some have their own unique method, like an infrared sensor. Toto washlets use a weight sensor. If your bidet seat has a skin sensor, we can trigger it using a wet piece of paper to simulate skin contact. First, take a folded paper towel or a few sheets of toilet paper and get them nice and wet under your sink. Now standing in front of the toilet and looking down at the seat, imagine a clock face overlaying the seat. Place the dampened paper in the 4 to 5 o'clock region of the seat. At this point, you should hear a bit of water release from the nozzle and drip into the bowl. This is a good sign as the nozzle has just cleaned itself and usually means the sensor is triggered. Some models have an indicator light that shows the sensor is triggered. If you have a Toto washlet or other bidet model that uses a weighted seat sensor, we'll have to trigger it using another method. With the seat down, press your hand down on the seat near the left rear hinge. You should feel a click. You'll need to press here and hold it down in order to trigger the seat sensor. Step 3. Test the remote. Before we start, replace the batteries in your remote control with fresh name brand batteries. With the occupied seat sensor triggered, stand in front of the toilet. Take the remote control in your hands, not mounted, and point it at the seat's receiver. If your bidet has a side control panel instead of a remote, use those buttons for this test. Try to activate the warm air dryer on the remote control. If this works, press stop. Next, proceed with trying the rear wash function. Before you press the wash button, prepare to cover the nozzle with a cup or simply a free hand. We don't want you getting sprayed in the face. If the wash function works, Proceed by trying out other features, like nozzle position and pressure adjustments to make certain your seat is fully functioning. Then you can stop the wash. If the functions are not working, repeat these same steps once more while seated on the seat to ensure that the skin sensor is triggered. During this part of the test, we want to make sure your remote is pointing at your seat's IR sensor. Take the remote control and point it in an exaggerated fashion over your right shoulder directly at the IR receiver. The signal from the remote control needs to be able to bounce off walls and the ceiling in order to reach the receiver. Certain situations, like when a toilet is within a separate water closet room, or if the user has a wider body, will give the bidet seat trouble in receiving the signal. If the remote control only works during this test, and not during your normal operation, it likely needs to be repositioned from its current mounted position. If these steps do not work, proceed to Step 4. Step 4. Test the auxiliary buttons. The next step is to determine whether you are having a remote issue or a seat issue. 
Most bidet seats that are controlled by a remote control have a small panel of basic wash functions located on the seat itself. It may be located on one of the sides of the seat or at the top. With the occupied seat sensor triggered, try pushing the rear wash button on the auxiliary control panel, not the remote. If the unit sprays, then this may be indicative that the remote control itself is the issue. If the bidet will not spray, try this step once more, but this time sit on the seat. If the auxiliary buttons do not function even while seated, then there may be a more complicated internal problem. If the auxiliary buttons do not function even while seated, move on to step 5. Make sure the bidet seat is properly mounted. Bidet seats attach to your toilet bowl via a mounting bracket. The seat slides into this bracket and locks in place. If it is not 100% fully locked into this bracket, it will not function properly. Try pulling the seat forward toward the front of the toilet. Does it move? If so, it's not locked in. Is the back of the bidet touching your toilet tank? If so, it may not be fully locked in. To troubleshoot this, let's slide the bidet seat completely off the bracket first. Press and hold the seat release button and slide the bidet seat forward a few inches. With the occupied seat sensor triggered, try pushing the rear wash button on the auxiliary control panel. If the unit sprays, great! Looks like we found the cause. Try to slide the bidet seat back into the bracket, making sure it fully locks into place. If the back of the bidet seat hits your toilet tank, you will need to reposition the bracket a little more forward on your toilet bowl. Loosen the bolts, adjust the bracket, and then re-tighten. If the bidet seat is still not responding or working, contact us. Our team here at Bidet King is more than happy to help you with your issues. Simply call us at 1-888-310-4511 or email us at support at bidetking.com and we will happily assist you further.